And the, the, the thrust of my talk is that the scope of probabilistic reasoning has been greatly exaggerated. Let me give, give two examples to make my point. One is when the financial crisis started breaking in 2007. David Vineyard, who was then chief financial officer of Goldman Sachs, said, we've experienced 25 standard deviation events several days in a row. Now, for statisticians and economists, a 25 standard deviation event has a probability of so many noughts ahead of it uh, that I can't list them all. It just doesn't happen. What he meant was that the event which he was describing could not happen within the Goldman Sachs model. That's not a statement about the world. It's a statement about the Goldman Sachs model. And we've been treating what comes out of models as if they were truths about the world. And that confusion was a large part of what led to the financial crisis. People put a, a reliance on the numbers generated by models, which was not there. I like the idea that people are trying to observe what people do rather than uh, making assumptions about what people do. That's an advance. But the notion that you learn very much by putting students in a basement and giving them rather silly problems to solve and finding they're not very good at them, I don't think we, we learn much by doing that. People tend to define economics now by the methods it uses rather than the problems it solves. And I think it ought to be the other way around. In this sense, economics is a, is, is a practical subject like medicine or engineering. Uh, I mean, if you go and see your doctor and say, doctor, I have a cold, I'm feeling terrible. He doesn't say, I think you've suffered an exogenous shock to the sinuses and there are some frictions which prevent your wellness equilibrium being restored. And you don't feel very happy to hear that. If he says, a lot of my patients find if they take paracetamol for three days, it usually goes away and they feel better. That's, that's the sort of advice I think economists should be in the business of providing. We certainly should not feel ashamed of providing. And at the moment, if you do, you will be told, this is ad hoc and you need to rest what you're saying on much more elaborated theoretical foundations. That's sometimes true. There's a generalization, it isn't true.